Hey you guys, welcome back. So I had a new puppy client the other day that had unfortunately had a top knot tied too tight on the top of her head and it did cause trauma to the hair and it came out at the scalp and she had a little bald patch. So it got me thinking that maybe it would be a good idea to do a video on how to tie up a top knot so that it is safely in the hair and will not cause any damage to the hair or skin. So Lindy likes to uh, hang her head while I am working on her. Let me drop you down a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I do put my grooming loop up a little higher. You'll also notice I have it in the front too and that's just mainly to keep her still while I do this part of her hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the outside corner of the eye on both sides and kind of hold that hair up in the middle. I've already trimmed up the top of her head a little bit. They do like to keep her long, so I just basically take off any dead ends. So I'm just going to comb all that. Like I said, outside corner of the eye to outside corner of the eye. Now on a top knot, top knot like Lindy's, I do like to get a little bit more hair just because she has so much hair out of the, over here. I can't talk this morning. It's early. Don't mind me. Um, but anyway, I like to take a good section of hair. So it really just depends on how much they have at top. Um, the rubber bands I'm using, these are just from Sally's by Proclaim, but any rubber bands are fine. Uh, and we're going to do three little twists. Okay. Now, once that's in there, what you can do is take your comb and put it right under the rubber band. And as long as all your teeth can go through, that means there's not any skin there. So I'm just going to readjust a little bit. Just going to tighten it up a tiny bit. Um, but doing the three loops around is helpful um, because that will not put it in here so tight. Since I adjusted, I'm just putting my comb again just to double check. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a bow in her hair too, just because that will kind of help to keep the hair out of her face and she hangs her head down. Let's see what color are we going to use today, Lindy? I think I use this pink one. Let's see. All right, we'll do that. So let's find something that matches. I really wanted to use this this one. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. I have this bright blue bow to go with. So I'm going to take my bow. I'm going to want my bow towards the front. I'm going to loop it through once and twist it one time just to keep it in there. Usually if you just put it in once, it's not quite enough. So I like to just twist it around one time just to make sure that everything's in there. And that bow's going to help since she does like to hang her head, that bow's going to help to keep it back. So that's all you do, but you do want to make sure there is a little gap between the hair and the skin because if the rubber band is tied tight to the skin, it will cut off the circulation and cause that portion of the skin to die. So just be careful when putting in bows, whether you're a pet parent or a groomer. Um, and anyway, that's how I do it to make sure that there is no trauma to the skin. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.